Hey everybody, the Elder Millennial here. I actually received a request in the comments section. Uh, I have made a video in the past on installing and getting up and running with the Namco system uh, 246, 256 games in Botocera. And I mostly game on Linux now and I don't really use Windows a lot. But this request was how to get the Namco uh, 2x6 systems working with LaunchBox. So I threw together a Windows machine and went ahead and installed LaunchBox. It's just the free version. I didn't even take the time to put my license file on it. Uh, and I've got the Play emulator installed on Windows. And a lot of the configuration is just done inside of the Play emulator. So you would do things in here like you know, go into options and settings and make sure your arcade ROMs directory points to where you have the games. I made a folder on my desktop called Namco Games, so that's where I've got it pointed. Uh, you can also do other uh, settings here, presentation mode, you know, we'll go fit screen, uh, select your Vulcan device, there's some audio options. Uh, but the big thing is just making a note or changing, if you want to, what your arcade ROMs directory is. And let's take a look at that because I pointed mine to this Namco Games folder on my desktop. And inside of it, what I have is I just copied this from my Botocera system. Uh, I've got a couple of games here, uh, Tekken 4 and the Fate game. Now I've got both the uh, compressed files as well as uh, I think each of these folders has you know several files. Uh, what's important, I think, are the uh, CHD files. Let's go up a level and check out Tekken 4. Yeah, it's just a CHD file. And then uh, if we look inside the zips, uh, here's the fate zip. And then here we've got fate-dongle.bin. I imagine it's going to be something similar for the Tekken 4 zip file. Uh, but if you're curious about what which files you actually need, I would go and take a look at my other video on getting this up and running on Botocera. Because a lot of it's going to you know, carry over to this. Uh, but anyway, once you have your files there, like so, I'm going to put this in full screen mode here. So once your files are there, you should be able to go to a game, like one of my games was Tekken 4, and you can double click it or right click it and say boot. And after a moment, the game should uh, start up, and it's, it's doing that now. But the question was how to get this to work with LaunchBox. Uh, as I am, like I said, I'm mostly gaming on Linux now, so I think Botocera is probably the best Linux-based front-end uh, that's available. However, I used to game on Windows, and I know a lot of you uh, may still game on Windows. So, honestly, I think for Windows, I've always been a fan of LaunchBox. So, how to get these working? Well, I made another folder here. And I just called it Namco ID. And inside of it, I made some text files. I literally just went file new text document and typed in like Tekken 4 and hit enter. There's nothing inside of these documents. I'm going to get rid of that new one I just made, but uh, there's nothing inside of these. What's important is how they are named. Okay, so if we go back to our games, 
what we can do is we basically just want to take uh, the names uh, that we've given to these uh, the compressed files and folders. So here we have Tekken 4, and here we have Fate ULC. I don't think it's case sensitive, uh, so it shouldn't really matter. But here I just put those same names for these text files we created. One I called Tekken 4 with no space uh, between Tekken and the number 4, and the other one I called Fate ULC. Uh, again, just taking that from the games we already know are working. Inside of LaunchBox, let's go and manage our emulators. So I just added one here. I called it play and I pointed it to the path to the play emulator uh, that I installed on this Windows system, which is under C program files play play.exe. Now what I did was I added this dash dash arcade. I'm going to go before that as well, because I know a lot of you are going to want this. I certainly would. And I'm going to do dash dash full screen. So we have dash dash full screen space dash dash arcade. Now the full screen parameter here is going to be pretty obvious. Uh, the arcade parameter, what that's doing is letting us specify a game ID. Uh, and I also check the remove file extension and folder path. So play.exe dash dash full screen dash dash arcade and then file. So our file is going to be the text files uh, that we created. So with it looking like this, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And we'll close out of this. And let's go ahead and add some games. To do that, I'm going to do this the simplest way possible and actually move this window down here. And I'm going to open up my Namco ID folder. I'm going to select both these files and drag and drop them over in my LaunchBox window. Choose this option if you'd like to import ROM files for use with an emulator. You know, let's go ahead and do that. Let's say what platform. Namco. I don't think it already exists, so I'm just going to say system 2x6. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to choose an emulator. We're going to pick our play emulator that we added. And I'm going to say use the files in their current location. So we have two games were successfully imported because these are our text files. And with the setup we did for the emulator here in LaunchBox, if we say right click and say play, So I had some audio troubles uh, with this particular recording and lost a bit of the audio. So uh, as you can see, uh, with the method that I used here in LaunchBox, we were able to launch the game. And because of those text files that we created with the appropriate names, uh, each game will launch the appropriate title. So instead of it opening the play emulator and you having to select a game, this will automatically launch it. And because we put the full screen option in, it's going to launch full screen as well. As uh, soon as you can say, see, this does work. And I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find it useful. If you did, be sure to give us a like. Uh, let me know what you think down below. And also, 
uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me cover here because uh, just like this one came from a um, viewer comment, uh, you know, if you ask me to do something or ask me to cover something, if it's something I can do, I will try to uh, do it and get a video out there as quickly as possible. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I really appreciate you guys watching. And this, uh, this is the Elder Millennial, and I will see you on the next one.